Hello folks, it's Peter Elgar here, Photography. This time I'm going to show you some magical tricks in the dark room. It won't be in the dark because I've got the windows open. <laughs> These tricks are going to be done in the daylight. But look, I was doing some prints on some very old paper. And it had been badly stored and it came out all grey and horrible. So I'm going to have a go to show you what you can do with two chemicals and it forms what is known as farmer's reducer. Now these have to be done on standard chemical photographic paper with the images formed of black silver grains. It's not done on digital inkjet paper. So there's a few prints. This is St Paul's Cathedral. We're going to be careful how we do this one because um, there's a lot of white bits on it which may we might lose. Now farmer's reducer is two chemicals, sodium thiosulfate crystals and potassium ferricyanide. There's, a, there's two here which are roughly the same. I'm going to show you how I do it and leave one which is not done. So we're going to mix up the chemicals first. And then I'll show you if I can hold in the video camera at the same time. Something which I've never done before. Well, this is plain hypo crystals, sodium thiosulfate. And um, I was given a sack of that, so I've got loads of it to play around with, but we don't need much. And the second one is this. Potassium ferricyanide, not ferrocyanide, ferricyanide. Potassium ferricyanide. Now don't worry with the word cyanide because we're not going to drink it and we're not going to get anything in our eyes. We're going to be careful and we're definitely not going to mix this with any acids which will give out a nasty gas. So don't be frightened of the word ferricyanide and most of these chemicals are fairly harmless and you can do it in the kitchen sink, but don't tell the wife. I'm going to mix up the chemicals first and then we'll see what we can do. We're going to add some warm water to a little pot. And we don't need much because we're only going to do a few prints. Now when you add sodium thiosulfate crystals you get what is known as an endothermic reaction where it goes cold as opposed to an exothermic reaction. Look. Now I've got to do everything with my left hand and I'm right handed so we'll see how we get on. We don't need much. Um, there that's probably about strong enough. The spoon I'm using came from good old McDonald's. It's a McFlurry spoon. Very useful. So we put some sodium thiosulfate into some warm water because, as I said before, it's going to get cold due to an endothermic reaction. And then into this, we're going to put a few grams, or about a gram and a half or so, of potassium ferricyanide just to make a canary yellow solution. So it's all according to how yellow your canary is, how much you put in. If it's too strong, it's going to spoil your photos. It has to be fairly gentle. That, that looks like a, if I had a canary, that's about canary yellow. Yeah, that's a good guess, wasn't it? Now, we put it in a dish. This reacts by dissolving silver. And it starts on the highlight areas first. I'm going to wash off my metal, metal stirrer. So it's chemically, well, it's washed, but to make it chemically correct, you've got to do it with distilled water. Protect water's good enough just to clean it off. Stick that in there. It's not quite fully dissolved, but it's good enough. That's about right. Now into that, we will do it left handed again. We're going to put in a minute amount of wetting agent. Ilford, Ilford Toll wetting agent. 
Bit my a minute amount. Look, just a couple of bubbles. Now be careful we don't knock anything over because I'm doing everything left-handed. So we don't want to knock everything over, even though it is a proper photographic sink here I've got. A great expense, folks. Now, before you start, you've got to wet your photographs. So we'll wet them. We'll stick the photographs we're going to do into there. I'm going to keep one dry. That's the one where I've got two copies of. And there we are. That's the, that's the very dark and grey, grey and horrible one. Now, this is very careful. You have to do it because it's, it can act very fast. It will, it will attack the very light areas first. So you have to have water running so that you can stop the action of the ferrous cyanide mixture. So we wet them and now we're going to we'll stick one in and we'll have the tap running so we can wash it quickly to stop the action. So here it goes into the farmer's reducer. Watch very carefully. Now look, only have to a few seconds, don't leave it to, don't leave it there too long. Drain it, have a look. If it's attacking the highlights. Otherwise they're gonna go completely bald. It looks a bit bald on the video camera, but it's not actually bald on the actual print. The video camera gives higher contrast, so this is a bit misleading, I'm afraid, because it looks burned out already. So that's about done for that one, I should think. We'll, we'll try a bit, bit longer, won't we? We'll try a bit longer, a few seconds more. Here we go. The farmer's reducer. Drain it. See the wetting agent, there's a few bubbles in it, look. It drains off nicely with the wetting agent. Now we put the next one in while that's washing. This is the one I wanted to do because it's very grey and horrible, this one. Church, where I tested a Minota Auto cord camera I was given at full aperture. So it's very sharp, that Minota Auto cord. It's 1955. It's um, amazingly good. So this is a full aperture test on the Minolta Auto cord. And that's looking a bit better now. So you, have, you don't put too much ferrous cyanide in, but it's too strong. It's cleaning it up, yes. It, it's cleaning it up. The highlights at the corner here are going, look, they're going to white. And you don't want them completely gone. That's cleaned up a bit better now. We're going to stop the action of that. We're going to stick the next one in. Now this is St Paul's Cathedral, which has got a lot of white on it already. And it looks whiter in the video camera than it is actually. It's, gr it's greyed over because the paper was old. So we're going to try sticking St Paul's Cathedral with the firefighter memorial in, pointing towards it and see if we can brighten it up. We have to be very careful otherwise we're going to bleach out those highlights completely to white and you won't be able to get them back. Once that ferrous cyanide hypo mixture has dissolved away the very fine deposit of silver in the highlights you can't get it back. Now I'm watching it, it looks completely gone on the video camera because that's got higher contrast and burns out the highlight. In the actual print it's not completely gone. It's brightening up. We can leave that in a little bit longer and we'll see if we get a brighter print. Here we go. This is the fun of photography, messing them out with chemicals. <laughs> um, what you can do, you can do it load of it can do it in Photoshop now but that's not half the fun as messing about with chemistry is it? Oh there we are, that's brightened it up. I'm going to wash that off. Now you have to wash this for two minutes because it's resin coated paper. 
And then you can stand it up to dry, or you can blow dry it with a hair dryer. And it washes much quicker than fibre based paper. I've got to wash my, do my hand on an old, old towel here, darkroom towel, while it's washing. We'll compare the two here with this original one. See if we can see any difference. I think there's a slight difference. On the left hand one is the one with the furry side of mixture, and the right hand one with none. That's, there isn't a great deal of difference on this particular one, but I think it's in, improved the others. So there we are. That's a quick run down on the use of farmer's reducer. It's hypo crystals and potassium ferry cyanide. Another bit of dark from wizardry folks from Peter Elgar, photographer extraordinaire. Thanks for watching.